Hi, Tefl Dude here, and today in this beginner's course for editing videos, we are going to use Avidimux in order to add and join videos in part one, crop and save videos to MP4 and the audio to MP3 in part two, and then change the audio we took out, clean it up and then put it back. This PDF will be available for download on a link below. Before I show you the steps, I just want to show you a video of before and after that we're going to go through. Here is the video on the left, which was an hour and a half, but I only wanted five minutes or nine minutes of the video. And I want you to listen to how badly the audio is compared to the second part where I cropped it and edited it. I'm from the northeast of England, from a town called Sunderland, which has recently become a city. Sunderland is famous for glass and also for shipbuilding. And now listen to the edited bit. I'm from the northeast of England, from a town called Sunderland, which has recently become a city. Sunderland is famous for glass and also for shipbuilding. And that was much nicer. So we're going to look at how I cropped this part of the video from a larger video and how I edited the audio. So now I'm going to quickly show you through this PDF the steps that we're going to use. You can download this using the link below. First, we're going to add a video by dragging them into the frame. And then if you want to add additional videos, you can't just simply drag them on top of it. You have to go to File, Append, click the video, and then go File, Append, and click the next video, and so on. Then you can see the timeline, which has changed from four minutes to nine minutes, because there's two videos there. In the second part, I'm going to show you how to crop and save. Here, we simply use the A and B tags at the bottom for the beginning of the crop and the end of the crop. But be careful, because if you save directly that way, the default is .mkv file. And we're going to change that. In the next slide, you can see we change the output to MPEG-4, the audio to MP3, and the output to MP4. And then we click Save. In the third part, I'm going to show you how to extract the audio and clean it up. So first you click on audio and save the audio. It will save it as an MP3. So if you were watching a music video or a live concert, you could extract the audio and listen to it on your iPhone. Now you will need Audacity. So you have to download Audacity and that is the tool we are going to use to turn the stereo to mono. In case you have a bad stereo like me, I've got a bad uh, link here. And then we're going to use noise removal to remove that hissing you heard that you could hear at the beginning of the other video. And then we're going to add bass and treble in order to give it some umph. Finally, we're going to re-upload it to where it belongs in the video and then save the video. Now, in order to edit the video, we need this program. So let's go over to Google and download it. Type in Avidimux. And I would choose this link, but any link will do. I use uptodown.com. And you simply click on the latest version and download. And you can see at the bottom, I've already downloaded it three times now. Remember, you also need to download Audacity if you're going to be editing the video. So let's open a Vidimux. So as you can see, it's quite a nice, clean interface. There are many video editors which are free, but they're very cluttered and very confusing. This is probably the simplest video editor you could ever use. The reason I chose this video editor is I need to work fast. I just want to cut some things up, add audio, and, and get it saved quickly. This is the best one 
and the easiest one for that. So here's the three videos that we wish to add. You simply drag the first one in, like so. And to add the others, I'll just show you that this one is live. In order to add the others, you have to click File Append. And you're taken to the same section, click the second one. And you can see the timeline has gone up to nine minutes and there's that one. File, append, this time we'll go for the third one. And you can see the third one is here. Now, all we have to do is click save. However, remember what I said before, it will save as MKV. You can change this to MP4 and just click save. And I'm going to call this three in one. And look how quickly it did that. And there's our three in one. You can see by the size, it's 169 megabytes. Just play it. And there's the second one. And there you can see them working. So now we're going to close this. Now in this part, we're going to crop the video and then save it as an MP4 file. Here is our file. Now, if you find the file too small, simply go to view and fit to window, and then it's larger. Now, the section I want is about accents, so it's here. Now, obviously you can move it with these arrows to the next scene or play it. So I'm going to pause it there. That's my start. So I click the A and I drag it forward till there and that's the end. So I click B. Now this is the part I want to save. But before I press save and it saves it to MP4, I want to make sure that it's saving the audio as MP3. And also I want to know that the video output is MPEG4 in accordance with YouTube, this is the best one. And simply click Save. Now I'm going to save it in this area, Accents Final Edit. And I'm going to call it Accents. And it literally only takes a few seconds. So you see it says OK, I click OK, and I can go in this area. And you can see it says the length is nine minutes. So I'm ready to edit this. So let's close this off. Now this is the part where we're going to edit the sound. So put the video back in. Remember view, zoom, and I'm just going to extract the audio. Save audio in the same place as an MP3. Now it needs to be saved as an MP3 in order to be put into the Audacity to be edited. So now we're going to open Audacity. And we simply get our MP3 file and drag it in. Now I simply want to get rid of this second part of the stereo. It's very annoying. If you listen... For it. Um, it's been heavily influenced by... That's what the bottom one is. Much more kind of rural, but that, it's changed as I've got older, I think. Because it was And the, the left one is the top. So what we need to do is split stereo to mono. And this one we can simply X. Now, you'll notice no longer is this a left only. It's a mono, so we can hear it out of both speakers. For it. Um, it's... And now down to the editing. We need to get rid of that hissing sound. So let's find the part where we were listening to that uh, Sunderland girl. Called Sunderland. That's the one. 
and we're going to zoom in and I just find a part where it's uh, quite long and hissy maybe here let's listen to this we quite often right now in order to get rid of this in the whole video we select a little part go to effects and noise reduction click get noise profile now we have to highlight everything so we go to edit sorry select all or control a and then we repeat the noise reduction here and watch it go thinner it's gone thinner okay that's a little less now control a highlight all effect repeat noise reduction let's listen we quite often say that's much better i'll do it just a third time control a effect repeat noise reduction we quite often say okay and now what i want to do is add a bit of bass and treble and also i want i don't know if you notice that when she's speaking it clips over here we quite often say e here you can see it getting red or yellow this is dangerous so what i'm going to do is highlight this area effect bass and treble and I'm going to play that part. We quite often say E at the beginning of a sentence and we'll quite often... We quite often say E at the beginning of a sentence and we'll quite often... What happens when I move my arrow here? We quite often say E at the beginning of a sentence and we'll quite often... So you see how I needed to lower it? We quite often say E at the beginning of a sentence and we'll quite often... Okay, that's good enough. Now it will remember these settings. So simply click off, highlight all again, control A, and go to effect, bass and treble. See it remembers the numbers, just click apply. And you can see it's gone a little smaller. We quite often say E at the beginning of a sentence. So that's much better, a bit clearer. Finally, just as a check, I'm going to do Control A and hit Normalize. And this will just make sure that it is minus one decibel. It's not clipping. It didn't change it because it is perfect. So now we have to save this, but there isn't a save button. You have to file export as MP3. And I need to go to this and I'll call it, I'll call it edited audio. So that's done. We can click off this. We don't need to save it. Now what we have to do is get this audio into the video. And to do that, we simply go to the audio file and this time we select track and here you can see this is the track but we can add a different track and you can see this edited audio we're simply going to add that and click OK and play I'll just move it to where she speaks again it tired me will also use dead instead of very. So now that I've added the audio, we need to save it. We've got the filters on, we're going to save, and we'll just call this accents. Accents final. And we'll save it. Successfully saved. Now let's play it again. So we've got our, let's move that. We've got the original here. We quite often say E at the beginning of a sentence and we'll quite often round a sentence. And then we'll play this one. 
which is I'm going to go to town. And that's it. One thing before you go I'd like to show you is should you wish to crop this video in any way, this one we don't need to crop, but should you wish to crop the size of it, you simply go to filters, go to crop, double click, and as you can see, look here, you can actually crop the video if you wanted to get rid of any black areas, if there was a dark border around it, you could simply do this, click save, and it will save it like that. Now, just before we go, I'd like to make you aware of if you want to add subtitles to this video, I've got a, a video I'll put a link to above shows you how to get YouTube to add the subtitles. So what I did, I just uploaded this video to YouTube and it gave me these subtitles. The glass and also for shipbuilding. My accent is known as a Geordie accent. Now the subtitles aren't particularly good, but they're not bad. Now the capital letters are missing and things like that, but you can re-download the subtitles and edit them and put them back. Or if you have the text file like I did here with the book, you can actually copy this text, put it in a subtitle file and then re-upload it. And this is the result. Which is particular to the northeast of England. It is quite sing-songy and has a tendency to go up at the end. There are different... And as you can see, it's much clearer. Now, YouTube did that for me. I just put the text in a text box file and I can show you on that video linked above how to put the text in a file, put the video on the text into YouTube and it does the work for you. And you can then re-download the text as I have done and I've got the video together. I never need to go on YouTube anymore. I got this audio. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a like and I'll see you on the next video.